And welcome into this edition of ACAP Today for the latter half of July 2023. I'm Jason Parent with the Rooster County Action Program. On this week's edition of ACAP Today, it's already back to school time. I know we're still in the heat of summer here in Aroostook County and enjoying every minute, every last minute of it. Uh, but school does start early here in Aroostook County, and so does the preparation for a new school year. So we're going to talk with three community leaders who are working diligently to help students be prepared for the coming school year. That's in our feature interview on this second half of July edition of ACAP Today. Before we get to the interview, though, we're first going to turn, as we do at each point in the broadcast, for the news and information that you can use, again, for this, the second half of July 2023. And we begin with the event that we're going to talk about a little bit more here and the build up to this event. That's the Back to School Bash. It's an annual activity that the United Way of Aroostook ACAP and a host of other community partners get together to uh, sponsor here in Aroostook County. It's gonna be held at ACAP's office in Presque Isle, our customer service center in Presque Isle. It will include things like the backpack distribution, giveaways, free clothing, informational booths, fun activities and games, and new this year, a job fair. So as parents are bringing kids to check out uh, their new school year, they can also look at opportunities for employment and engagement in uh, the workforce here in Aroostook County. We're gonna have lots more on this in our feature interview as I noted, but please do mark the date on your calendar, Wednesday, August 9th from 10 to three at ACAP's customer service center. If need be, a rain date would be on August 10th. We move on now to talk about things as we are looking at the start of school. It won't be too long before the leaves are turning and colder weather is upon us. And our ACAP housing and energy team is looking for 2022-2023 HEAP-approved households. So that's last season's HEAP-approved households who are interested in receiving free weatherization services. Now these services include air sealing, wall and attic insulation, basement wall insulation, weather stripping and caulking. It really does a comprehensive assessment of the home and does work with specifically as a focus group, uh, senior citizens in the household over the age of 60, individuals who are disabled or children under the age of six. And it also keeps into account fuel utilization and poverty level costs. We definitely do uh, usually prioritize this list with with customers who are in those categories. Uh, however, there are times when individuals are not ready for a full weatherization. So we certainly encourage you to reach out to us if you have interest. The direct line is 764-3721 and extension 148 is the extension or 184, I should say, is the extension you want to hit on. Uh, info at acap-me.org can also direct that to the right department here at ACAP. The Farmers Market Nutrition Program is now underway. It's uh, for all WIC participants over 12 months old. They are now receiving a $30 additional stipend to use uh, spend at eWIC certified farmers uh, on main grown fruits and vegetables at this great time of the year to do that. Uh, if you are interested in this and interested in our WIC program, please give us a call at 764-3721. In addition to that, ACAP is hosting uh, its annual WIC Farmers Days, where we invite uh, a local farmer to come in at our customer service center at 771 Main Street in Presque Isle near Walmart. Uh, these will be happening from 9 to 4 p.m. on the following dates here in July, the 19th and 27th. August 9, 16th and 24th, and September 7th. It's at, again, our Main Street location. In addition to the produce that will be available, we will have other programs and services that you can connect with there, as well as taste testing, easy recipes, and some giveaways. So when you see the farmers uh, set up at ACAP on these dates, please do come on over. It doesn't, uh, on these dates, it certainly is not uh, restricted only to WIC or ACAP customers. The community can certainly stop by and purchase fresh produce at the ACAP WIC Farmers Market Days at our Presque Isle location. And speaking of food for the summer, uh, the Hot Lunch Summer Program does continue with school districts across Aroostook County offering a free and reduced or free a summer food service program uh, to ensure that children continue to receive nutritious meals during the summer months when school is not in session. You may see ACAP folks at some of these along the way as we will be looking to connect folks with services who do attend uh, these school lunch sites. If you want more information or work, know where to go to your local summer feed site, you can go to the main.gov website, look through the Department of Education hot lunch summer section, and you can get the information there on where to get your, hot, your school lunch summer. 
Uh, main homeowner assistance program, we've been talking about this one for a number of weeks. It's really geared towards uh, households that are struggling to keep up with their mortgage payments or other housing costs, uh, including taxes or utilities. Um, and it is due to a related connection of COVID-19 and some financial hardship that has happened as a result of COVID-19. Uh, to be eligible, you must earn less than 150% of the local area median income and have sustained a financial hardship, as I indicated during COVID-19. That was any time after January of 2020. Um, so please do give us a call if you have any questions about this program, 764-3721. It's a program administered by Maine Housing. We do have folks available to help uh, complete the application. MaineHomeownerHelp.org is the site to go if you want more information online or to complete the application online. We are also reminding folks out there who are looking for employment. I mentioned that we'll have a job fair in partnership in collaboration with our Back to School Bash event, but we regularly offer uh, assistance to individuals looking for jobs and to businesses who are looking for job seekers. Uh, and we apply, we apply a, a wide variety of assistance in this area from things like tuition coverage to training and technical assistance on resume writing uh, and application assistance of that nature. You can see a, a, a wide array of activities here that we help with. If you need uh, assistance in this area or are looking and have questions, please give us a call at 764-3721 or email us at info at acap-me.org. You can also check out more information at acap-me.org under the workforce development section of our website. The FCC's Affordable Connectivity Program continues to be something that ACAB can help connect you through. It offers a service discount of up to $30 a month for qualifying households, up to $75 a month if you're in a qualifi qualifying tribal land, and a device discount for up to $100 for a qualifying device. There's a lot of nuances there, and so we encourage you to give us a call at 764-3721. We have navigators to help connect you with this service. You can also go to getinternet.gov for more information. And as we've been mentioning and, and talking about here for a bit, our early care and education programs are gearing up for their own start to a new school year, including our Head Start program. And so we're certainly taking applications for those programs across Aroostook County uh, to get an application in or to ask some questions about whether it's worth, worth your time to try to apply. We certainly encourage that to happen. You can give us a call at 768-3045. That's a direct line to our early care and education team, or you can complete the application online through the early care and education page of the ACAP website. Winter Energy Relief Program, we're still talking about this one, even as a new home energy assistance program season gets underway, we do have limited uh, support available in this area. So if you're finding yourself in a, an energy emergency, uh, even though we're in the hot season, please do give us a call at 768-3053. And again, our new home energy assistance program season is just getting underway now, and we look forward to serving uh, our customers again for another year through that program. Our teen center continues to be open at North Street in Presque Isle. It's at 24 North Street in Presque Isle. And given that we're in the summer months now and school is out of session, we've expanded the hours. Uh, teens 14 through 19 can visit the teen center and just walk in at any time, Monday through Thursday between 12 and 8 p.m. and Fridays and Saturdays between 12 and 9 p.m. in the evening. We encourage folks, this is a great opportunity if you're coming uh, from the St. John Valley or from Southern Aroostook and haven't had a chance to check out our new teen center and you're in the 14 to 19 year old age category, uh, this is the perfect time with school out of session. And if you're already coming down anyway, why not stop by and say hello to the teens that are attending the center and working there as well. And we always are reminding folks about uh, those who are in need of immediate food assistance, that there is a network of community cupboards out there and a resource guide for other uh, resources available to help you with your food insecurity. This is the community cupboard photographed here outside of our 771 Main Street Customer Service Center in Presque Isle, but there are several civic organizations, even some local businesses that have propped up similar community cupboards operating under the give what you can, take what you need philosophy across Aroostook County. Check out the one in your local community, and also please, if you are able to help and and drop off non-perishable food items at your local community cupboard, it is especially appreciated. 
And lastly, if we have not talked about something and you are in need of a program or service but aren't quite sure how to connect or how to find that, please do call us here at ACAP. We have navigators who can help connect you with those services. The telephone number again is 764-3721. We can help you with a variety of things as are shown here on the screen, whether we're connecting you with resources internal to our agency or with those community partners out there beyond the walls of our agency. And that's this week's news and information that you can use. I'm so pleased now to welcome to the program our three guests today. First, our guest from outside of ACAP, Sarah Duncan from the United Way of Aroostook. It's so glad, I'm so glad to welcome you back to the program, Sarah. It's been a little bit, nice to have you back. Thank you for having me. All right, and joining us from Team ACAP are Sherry Locke, our Chief Administrative Officer, and Kim Garrett Michaud, who is a community educator specializing in community engagement and outreach. Sherry and Kim, welcome back to the both of you. Thank you. Nice to see you. All right, so we talked about it. I talked about it at the beginning of our news segment. It's the Back to School Bash, and that time is about ready to kick off. But really, Sarah, the project begins in the hands of both the United Way of Aroostook, some, some really supportive local businesses who really uh, come up to the table, and the people of Aroostook County who helped the Back to School Bash really happen, especially the backpack giveaway component of that. So tell us about what's happening in the buildup to the Back to School Bash. Well, we're already starting to gather supplies and work with donors to gather supplies. Um, we have a goal of 600 backpacks um, to be able to hand over to ACAP to those that have registered. Um, maybe more if we get more, um, hopefully. Uh, but we're starting to work with donors and purchase of supplies. Um, we need everything um, on your on a child's back to school list, and we are working with Town Square Media, um, and we'll be live at both the Presque Isle and Holton Walmart locations. Holton on August third, and Presque Isle on August fourth in the afternoon um, to collect supplies from the customers that are going in. Uh, we'll have a list of items that are needed, and uh, hopefully those customers come out and. Um, add to our little shopping cart so we can stuff those backpacks. Now, Sarah, in addition to those collection dates at the Walmarts in Holton and Presque Isle, what's a way that someone who maybe is gonna be out of the area, folks are going on vacation, and there's certainly the folks in the St. John Valley who might not have easy or quick access on those two days to those two Walmart locations. How otherwise can people contribute to the collection of school supplies? Uh, people can make a donation right to uh, United Way of Aroostook to help cover the costs. We do spend um, about $8,000 on the project um, just in purchasing supplies that are needed. Backpacks are a huge expense, um, and they're not as not many people donate those. Um, so we do purchase a large amount of backpacks, hundreds of backpacks, and we're thankful LL Bean is giving us 85 backpacks for the high schoolers in the program this year. Um, they've always been a wonderful donor, but uh, monetary donations are certainly needed and appreciated to help purchase the, the supplies that we need that we don't receive. Sherry, I believe we can also encourage folks if they want to drop off hard supplies, certainly, uh, and can't get it uh, to Presque Isle, to our central location, they can certainly donate locally in their community outside of the times that they're going to be at Walmart, correct? Absolutely. Donate at any of our ACAP facilities, and we'll make sure we get those supplies to our partners at the United Way so they can get those in the backpacks. It really is incredible, all of the work the partners, the donors, and the time that goes into that before the event piece, you know, to get those backpacks ready. So um, any and all donations are gladly accepted and we'll get those to the United Way so they can, um, you know, put those in the bags and we can get those out to students in need. Now, Sherry, um, the critically important part of making sure that the collection part happens, so the giveaway part can happen, as Sarah noted, really does involve a wide array of community uh, partners from businesses and organizations to individuals themselves. Um, talk about how it translates from that donation to ensuring that the school supplies get in the hands of, of children across Aroostook County, because we're talking about a distribution event in Presque Isle, but that's not the extent to which uh, the items get in the hands of folks, is it? That's exactly right, Jason. Low-income families can complete a very simple online application to um, request a backpack, and we do our very best to meet the entire need, um, again, countywide. 
um, once folks complete that form, um, we then make sure that we can meet that need and they're able to pick their backpack up at the back to school bash or at any of the ACAP facilities across the county. And we think that's important, you know, as we've been working with the United Way on this, we keep hearing transportation is such a barrier. So we've made that commitment that if it's easier for someone to pick up a backpack in Fort Kent or in Madawaska, in Caribou or in Holton, we want to make that happen. So again, a lot of pre-work goes into that to make sure that we have the appropriate age, backpack and school supplies at the appropriate location for that family to pick up before school starts. And as we know in Aroostook County, lots of schools go back in August. So although it is July, um, you know, we've already got the ball rolling and families are really preparing for what they're going to need for that 2023 school season. Now, is there a space available on the list to receive a backpack at this point, Sherry, and how do folks go about doing that? There are a few spots available, and if you just visit our uh, Facebook or our web uh, web page, web website, you'll be able to see where that link is. We will leave that link active until we have completely filled those 600 slots. There are slots left, um, but there's not lots. Again, like Sarah said, the more folks that donate, the more backpacks we'll be able to get out into the community. So hopefully we'll be able to meet the entire need um, for families that have made that request. Awesome. So uh, now, Kim, uh, the, the part where you really step in is to help coordinate all of the activity that's happening, uh, both getting the backpacks out to community members, but also this uh, extraordinary event, uh, one of the, the, the top events, I'd say, of the year for the agency on the, on the 9th of August this year. Talk about that event. So, yeah, that event is, it's really, it's a bash. It's a party. And um, so the um, families will be able to come that day from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. We'll, uh, we'll be there. We'll have a lot of our partners there with us. We're going to not, not only have backpacks, but other giveaways. Um, we're going to be doing free clothing and gently used clothing for the whole family. A lot of information, some activities, some games. We will have our um, farmer's market, our farm truck there that day as well. And I've, been, I've also heard rumors of popsicles and popcorn and, and uh, other snacks. So it, it, it's a good time for families. It's a, it's a good time to get together with other families and for the kids to see um, their classmates that they'll see once they get back at school. So it's a, it's a great time. And new, new Kim this year, we've invited some employers to come in who may have some job openings out there. That's, I think, critically, uh, the timing on that's just right, because parents are considering what their children will be doing in the fall. And that sort of takes care in some cases of the of, of, of sort of what happens for the children during the day so that the parents can be thinking about other opportunities. Right. So we have uh, um, our ACAP programming Um uh, Staff and crew will be there on site talking a lot about our ACAP programs. And one of them is our workforce program. And it does, with parents freed up, parents, guardians, um, adults in the house, it frees up time while they're at school. It may allow them a chance to get back into the workforce. Maybe they have somebody who's been going to school half a day and now they're going a whole day. So their timing and their availability may change. So we're there to help them make that transition as well. Now, Kim, one of the things that you mentioned is the clothing giveaway. And I know that in recent years, when we've done this event, there have been families that have come in and made a donation. Kids, not surprisingly, sort of grow up and get a little bit bigger. And they've kind of left behind one size and parents donate that clothing and then can certainly come back and sort of exchange it, if you will, during the, the clothing giveaway for the next size uh, up. So are we receiving donations of clothing as oh, well? Oh, absolutely. We'll, we're, we'll receive donations in advance as well as donations that day. So it definitely is a um, bring what you can, take what you need, kind of a clothing exchange and you're right they grow they continue to grow <laughs> and uh, um, th this is a, a, a great way to um, share share the wealth share what you have take what you need and I saw a lot of families doing that last year and it's um, it warmed their hearts and it warmed our hearts. 
Now, Sarah, as you sort of see this project come full circle, you guys have the really important part at the very, at the beginning of the project, but I know that you certainly work with organizations and as an agency yourself, uh, care for folks across Aroostook County. What does it mean for you, your board of directors, the, your organization to be engaged in this project and to see the, you know, the school supplies get into the hands of, of the children who need it most across Aroostook County, but also the other opportunities uh, to engage in this particular uh, back to school bash event to be able to connect with other resources. We'd love to uh, work with our partners and we'd love to see families getting um, not just a handout, but a hand up and like seeing that there's workforce development that's going to be there and a farmer's market. Um, it's just so many opportunities for these parents to connect with other resources um, and receive uh, like clothing and all the different things. A child to start school without the supplies they need, um, that can really impact them on their first day of school. It, it really brings their self-confidence down. So if we can just help build a child's self-confidence and have them feeling prepared on their first day of school, um, it just means the world. And it's part of, it's part of the mission of bettering the education um, and um, the sustainability of uh, Roostick County. Sherry, what have we missed in this conversation that you want to make sure that folks, uh, in fact, take away with them about uh, this upcoming sort of uh, season of, of, of collection, season of giving on the part of some, and season uh, certainly of, of, of receiving on the part of others who are in need? Absolutely. There are some income requirements for the backpack program. We want to make sure those go to families that most need them. So there are some requirements there. But I think it's important to note that the Back to School Bash is actually open to everyone in the community. So all school age children and their families are invited to come. And as Sarah said, it, it's all about community. Um, we have resources available. We have very uh, generous folks in our community that have made donations of school supplies and clothing and volunteering their time to offer activities for the local youth. So we would not want anyone to not attend um, because they don't qualify um, for the backpack. You're still certainly invited to come to the back to school bash. And I just, I think this project's just a reminder of how generous our community is. You know, folks give what they can. Giving your child's gently used clothing is huge because that allows for another child um, to have those clothing for the school year. So just require everyone to think about how they can play a role in this project and support um, our future leaders through this project at, at the Back to School Bash. Kim, what about from your perspective, anything we've missed in this conversation you want to make sure folks know about the coming activity? Kim? Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> I thought I lost I'm you there sorry. for a minute. I'm still listening to Sherry's. I'm like, <laughs> yay, Sherry. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, I, I do want to... Uh, I want to echo the things that Sherry and Sarah had said about the importance of, of children going with the supplies they need and, and the clothing they want. Um, but I also think it's really important. We have a lot of partners that will be there. They'll be providing information. And um, as the school season starts and, and we move into cooler weather, there's a lot of resources that I want to make sure that we put in the hands of families that they, they know that there are people out there willing to help and to guide and to direct. So there's a lot to be to be gained by the backpack giveaway and the big bash. So great. Kim, um, Sarah, Duncan, your uh, last thoughts in terms of anything that we haven't talked about and remind folks how they can uh, help by collecting, donating either school supplies or, or funds to help us purchase school supplies to make sure that we can meet the need across the rest of county. Yeah, like Sherry said, um, if people want to donate supplies but aren't in the Presque Isle area, um, they can certainly drop them off at your locations at ACAPS. Um, if you're in the Holton area, you can actually purchase um, a bag of supplies and those are kept um, right at Walmart and given to adopt a block who passes out backpacks in the Holton area. Um, and then any, um, if you want to do a monetary donation, you can go to our website and donate or send, um, send money in the mail. Our new address is PO Box 55, 
Presque um, for donations, um, or certainly give our office a call, 764-5197, and we can help connect you um, to make that donation. But anything is appreciated. If you do work at Northern Light AR Gould, they are doing a collection at the end of July. Um, so wear your casual clothes that day and drop off some school supplies, and those school supplies go to this event as well. Great, thank you very much for mentioning both Northern Light Health as a critical partner in helping us to collect these supplies and also to our friends um, down in Holton um, at uh, the adopt -a block program who also do a great job on the distribution side as well to make sure that we're reaching uh, people throughout the Southern Arusta community. So thanks to both of those organizations and the many others you've mentioned and those others that will come to the table in the coming weeks. Uh, to make sure uh, children across Arusta County have a great start to a new school year. As much as I'm sure they're enjoying wanting a little bit more summer, as we all do, um, it's coming uh, faster than we all think. So uh, thank you very much, Sarah Duncan, Sherry Locke, Kim Garrett Michaud for joining me on this edition of ACAP Today. Uh, it's an upcoming event. Uh, don't forget about it. It's the uh, Back to School Bash. It's on the 9th of August with the rain date on the following date at ACAP 771 Main Street Customer Service Center near Walmart in Presque Isle. Um, and if you can't be there, uh, we can help connect you with uh, school supplies otherwise. Um, and we certainly uh, look forward to seeing those of you who are going to be there. Before we leave all of you, though, we're going to first uh, show you our snapshot of uh, this past couple of weeks, the latter part of July. Uh, and that highlight snapshot, if you will, is uh, three of our area youth who are employed this summer uh, to help staff at the North Street Teen Center uh, recently were joined by some other ACAP team members in welcoming Wick, Rick Wilson, who's there on the right, from the Maine Department of Education, Office of Workforce Development and Innovative Pathways. Uh, they showed him around the new uh, teen center space at 24 North Street in Presque Isle, um, and certainly are inviting their fellow teens across Arusta County to do the same as Rick and to check out the North Street Teen Center when you have the opportunity. That's our highlight snapshot uh, for this uh, edition of ACAP Today, again, for the latter half of July 2023. We'll be back with a new edition in the first part of August, and we hope that you join us then for that. Until then, have a great rest of the month of July. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>